What's going on everybody? So today I want to go ahead and talk about this um, Army of the Dead. So by the tone of my voice, um, that movie was whack. Straight up. So before we get into it, as always, hit the subscribe, drop a comment, all that good stuff. So Army of the Dead, what can I say? It's, uh, let's just get right to the point. I give it a solid five, period. Solid five. I'm not hating, I'm not trolling, I'm not anything towards Zack Snyder, because I like Zack Snyder and I like what he does. But let's be real, Zack, he's an amazing director, producer, all that good stuff. But when it comes to writing and story, oh man, just hire somebody else, honestly. All right. Where to start? I don't know. It's just such a mess. All right. I'm keeping it as real as I can. This is my point of view. So if you don't agree with it, that's cool. You know, like I respect that and all that stuff. Um, but man, uh, all right. First things first. Zombies, to me, I, I, I'm old school. So I grew up watching George Romero's um, movies from back in the days, you know, in the 90s and you know, as a kid growing up watching it, then Resident Evil came around, uh, around and it's just like, man, that was amazing. That's what got me hooked into it even more. And, you know, zombies should be slow. They should be stupid because they're dead. Um, of course, they're fake. We know they're not real or nothing like that. But it's just the whole part when they get, man, when they turn zombies into like they're dead, but they can talk and they can communicate and they have emotions and they can use weapons um, and they could, and, and here, <clears throat> oh my god, this zombie with that zombie that looks like a queen or she has a crown or whatever, a princess, whoever the hell she is, she's pregnant. Okay, L let me repeat that a zombie that got knocked up and got pregnant by another zombie. So, dude is hearing her belly in one of the scenes, and they kill her, they cut her head. Good, because I couldn't stand that character. And, you know, it's just like, he pulls out the baby from the womb. Very disgusting. So if you're, like, soft to, you know, like, weak to all that, then, yeah, it's very gory. And it has some parts that are, like, pretty, pretty like, you know, like, damn, that's, that's, <laughs> that's sick. He pulls out the baby, and it dies in his hands. So pretty much, dude's, like, the zombie one. He's like, oh, it's time to take revenge. H how? Okay. Like I said, this movie's just, it's, oh my god, just garbage. Dude puts on this half helmet, right? And he has like a cape type of thing. And you can't shoot him in the head because that's like his armor to protect him. So you can't hit him. You can't pop him in the dome with it. And pretty much he's the leader of all the zombies. So he's like pissed because they killed his dead girl, and he just wants to get revenge on everybody that's, you know, that heist trying to steal the money and whatnot. The whole idea of heist with zombies was pretty good, and the whole casino thing, but it, I don't know, it just could have been done a lot, a lot better. And one thing that I really can't stand, even from Justice League, oh my god, is the part where when Zack picks his music, he picks the most shittiest songs to go with these amazing scenes it's like you have this badass badass scene and you're just gonna all of a sudden like in uh what was it uh justice league when when wonder woman comes out and she has the uh, that that song that's just nothing but howling ah you know it's like dude like play her song she was such a badass and freaking batman versus superman the same thing i get that same vibe there's a lot that i felt that was like he was bringing Batman vs. Superman, um, Justice League, you know, and, and, and points of with the music and what's going on in the scene. So you have this one track where it's towards the end that you see the zombie and like, I can't remember that good. But that scene reminded me so much of Man of Steel when he's fighting Zod and he's about to snap his neck and, you know, like dudes shooting the lasers out of his eyes and, you know, um what's his name superman has him and he's like about to snap him so pretty much like that felt i felt that a lot when it came to to this uh to this film of uh army of the dead so those parts that felt like it and i'm like 
but that wasn't necessary, you know, it's like, but overall, you know, like, costume-wise, set-wise, that was all amazing, like, really, really good, the characters, you know, at first, we, I mean, it is a new uh, franchise, a new type of brand, if you want to call it, so it's like, you gotta get used to, you get comfortable with the with the characters towards the end, and there's some that are really cheesy, like that dude, uh, I think Dieter, the, the guy that's like, the expert in opening the the vault, that dude was like kind of he was extremely cheesy. He wasn't necessary, and then the the little jokes here and there that they they crack is like that's not it's not it's not it, you don't need that. You really don't need those type of like forced comedy into this film. Just keep it serious. That's it. You know, it's like you're in the middle of freaking a uh, virus where like freaking everybody's a zombie and you're the only one trying to get out. And, I don't know, it's just like I said, you know, like, it could have just been a lot better. A lot of people are, like, hyping it up and saying, yo, this movie's really good, this and that. No, it's not. It, it's really not, you know. It's better than the Resident Evil films, that's for sure. But, overall, the film, like I said, is a solid five. It's not the best. And, it's just one of those, like, I'll watch it because I'm bored. But, it's not one of those, like, I want to own this film. Nah, I, it's just not like that. Um, His Dawn of the Dead from back in the day. Oh, man, that's man that was amazing to this day um but just i don't know army of the dead just it just didn't i don't know man and then bautista dies um i forgot his name in the in the and what do you call it in, in the movie and you know like it's all because his daughter so he kind of like and then he becomes a zombie so he, she has to shoot him in the head i was like man like seriously like this could have gone a lot it just felt like a cheap sci-fi film that belonged on, let's say on what's that sci-fi channel, and it could have just been a lot better. You know, I'm I'm really not happy with it. You know, I I saw it. It's a one-time thing. Like I, I'm glad I didn't see it in the theaters. Real talk. Um, like I said, I'm not hating. I'm not trolling. I'm not nothing. It's just being a. It's, it's, I'm I'm just being critical. You know, towards the film. You know, it could it could have been a lot better, honestly. You know, and it is what it is. But what can we do? And I hope we don't get a, another sequel, honestly. I, I really don't. Because it's just... It, it's setting up for a second one. But it's just that movie was shit. Honestly, it was just pure shit. Don't... I don't want to see another one of the same thing. It's just garbage, honestly. And if they do a second part, just end it. That's it. Um, but I don't want to see any more of it. You know, it, it sucks. Because Zack is an amazing director, producer. But it's just this movie just it just left me like every time I watched it I was like oh man I'm cringing I'm like I just don't want to see anymore, and it was no need for it to be two hours and thirty minutes you could just knock that movie out with like an hour and like forty minutes max an hour and forty five, um but hey that's what it is so if you saw it drop your comments what are your thoughts did you like it what didn't you like what did you like all that good stuff and like I said I'm. Old school. I like old slow zombies that, like Resident Evil, you have to like make your way. If they get you, they're gonna kill you. You know, like you gotta like beat that crowd type of stuff. Um, but it is what it is. As always, if you like the content, help the channel grow, show your support, all that good stuff. And until next time.